Hi and welcome to free Excel video tutorials. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to use Reptex and merge cells formatting in Microsoft Excel to improve the look of your spreadsheet, okay? Um, there are times that you may have to enter a lot of text in your Excel spreadsheet in a particular cell. And here, I have an example of that, okay? I have some labels in a table, as you can see. I have here the text entered in different cells instead of one, okay? Like this one, we have cost of goods sold, okay? It's in uh, two different cells, as well as this gross profit, as well as um, sales as of percentage of total sales. You know, um, okay, and this uh, might not be very good in, um, in your Excel spreadsheet, okay? And in, in order for us to uh, make it look better and easier for us to manage, it will, it will be better for, for us to use the rep tags and to combine the cells so that the, all the tags uh, are in one single cell. And here as well, we have the tags at the top left corner. Um, we have a long sequence of text which overlaps the other cells on the right. Okay, as you can see, I have the text here in cell A2. Uh, it's empty in cell A, B2, C2, and D2. Okay, so of course, we can come over here um, to the top and adjust, adjust the width, the size of the column, you know, like this. You know, so all the text will fit and you can see it all. But there is a danger here that we will extend the width far too wide over here. And and it will be a waste of space as well. It won't, it won't look nice on your Excel spreadsheet, okay? Let me just undo this. So now let's see how we can uh, wrap the text. So let's come over here to this uh, empty sheet here. So we have here... I have here the wrong way, just uh, typing the text in different cells. Okay, so now what I want to do is to type this, the the text um, to be in one cell, uh, but not wanting uh, the words to pan the width of the column wider. So let me just text type the text cost of goods sold. Okay. Here, I'm going to press Control Enter so that I can um, uh, let the focus remain on this cell. And at the Home tab, okay, you come over at the Alignment um, menu, you can see the wrap text icon. So let's click on that, and there you go. You see that uh, all the the text will be in one in one cell, uh, nicely done, and let's have the words centered okay and uh, the goods the goods sold now uh it's in the same row okay so let's widen it a little bit so that it is in two 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 lines of text okay so you notice this space up here that we have above the text so we do not want that so we can remove it by uh, double clicking over here. Let me undo and show you again. Oh, double click, double click over here, and you can see that Excel will automatically adjust the size of the the row. Okay, so let's see another example. Uh, I have here average inventory. This is in two lines. So let's 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 come over to this. Let's go here. Okay, and type average in pen three. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it here. Average in pen three. Okay, so we come over here to the home tab and we have to first. We have to press. Uh, we have to go to the cell. Come over to the home tab and select wrap text. Okay, so there you go. And what you have to do now is adjust the width of the 
the column okay let me center this and you can see that uh, it's automatically adjusted okay in the middle of the cell okay now let me show you another one let's take a longer one sales as of sales as percentage of total sales okay so let's come over here let's type sales as of percentage okay so here i can control the break of the text by using alternate enter total sales okay I press Control Enter to remain focused for the cell. Okay, so you can see I can control the break of the text with Alternate Enter. Okay, and uh, let's make it in in two lines. Okay, I enter my break after the uh, percentage. Okay, I made a typing mistake, so it should be percentage. Okay. So if you ah you see I click I click away just now and it automatically adjusted the this the the the, 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 the what do you call it the size of the row for me okay so this will definitely look better in your Excel spreadsheet e rather than using three different cells to enter the same amount of text so that's how you can wrap text in uh, Excel. Now let's see how we can merge cells, okay? So this merging cells is used for long entries like this, okay? So up here I have, uh, let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see. Okay, I have a long text entry and three short entries, okay? So if I come over here and double click on the uh, side of the column, you can it will automatically adjust to fit all the words here okay so this is very long and this is not what we want so let me undo this so to merge cells first you need to have your text typed in all in one single cell okay you can see that in cell b1 i have nothing and b2 i have c2 c1 i have nothing so everything is in cell a1 and you need to select the cells which you want to merge so in this case is these three cells okay then come over to the home tab and see this merge um, icon okay if you click this it will merge and center the text okay let me undo this and at the side here you see there's a drop down menu okay so you can choose from merge and center merge across merge cells and unmerge cells so i'm going to choose merge cells okay so now if i expand the column let's go back to this column over here if i expand this column just double click here you can see that it only we will expand to accommodate uh the the length of the text over here and not the one up here okay so that is just uh, basically uh, how you can use wrap text and merge formatting to improve the overall look of your Excel worksheet. Okay, so you can make uh, a a chart or no, a table like this look much better, easier to manage if you use wrap text and merge cell formatting. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.